The exterior of the chapter house is being wrapped up and we've narrowed our interior punch list down to the last few tasks. And the question is, is it in the budget? At our cafe renovation in Romney, we're making big decisions and the crew there is about to be finished with the interior, which means the project gets handed back over to us to finish. So today is a big day. We're at the cafe. We are testing paint samples for the exterior of the building. This is a huge deal because I tend to mess up paint colors. It's okay. We've got a wide variety of different paint colors. They are all our favorite paint colors. I think we're going to do a flat and not do a set. Is that correct? Yes, but the trick is that the samples only come in a satin. So we're kind of not yes. really going to know what it looks like until it's actually completely painted, which could be disastrous. We paint the things two and three times for as you guys know. We typically paint things two and three times. This right here is not the plan. The plan is due. <laughs> it's never the plan. Testing, <laughs> one, one coat and we're done. That's the plan. Fingers crossed. I can live with anything but can she. No, it has to be <laughs> perfect. So the exterior of the building has been completely pressure washed. We have a couple of different blues and greens. We're gonna put it all up on the side and see what we think we like best. I already know my two favorite clothes already. It's a blue, and I think it's the, it's the River Rock? What's it called? Rock Garden. It's, it's rock, rock Garden. That's Rock Garden, 100%. No, 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 no. Rock Garden. The other one we picked is not as River Rock. Where's rock, River Rock? Or what is it called? Hold on. It's, uh, Rocky River. That's Rocky River right there, girl. I think we need to let it dry and do a second coat. A hundred percent. I think we should take it to the front side of the brick and see if we can test it over there too before we take this off. Okay. It's gonna look different in the shade too. I know, it's going to do it. Oh, yes. I like it in the shade, I don't like it in the sun. Does that sound familiar? Yep. Renovation house. You know what the problem was though? Satin. Yeah, we need it flat. It needs to be flat. 100% needs to be flat. The good news is that on the side of the building where Josh was doing all of the electrical work, the white paint came off of the brick and it looks fantastic. I love it. We're leaving it. We're leaving it's it. It's unfortunate this entire thing wasn't that way because we would leave it. Yeah. But I might make Josh do brick right here. Don't tell him. It's not feasible, you know? But it is feasible. It definitely is. You gotta do it my right. Schedule, my schedule doesn't, doesn't account for that. Luckily for me, I make your schedule. <laughs> Color number two. Oh no. Okay, so I like this one more over here in the shade, and I like this one more over there in the sun. And I just called that one gray, so. <laughs> it's not gray, <laughs> but it looks kind of uh, blue yeah, almost. Yeah, a lot of blue in it. All right, now let's go ahead and try the uh, the blue color out. Yeah. Here's what's gonna have to happen. The blue's gonna look gray. I'm gonna call it right now. This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna paint it twice. No. We're gonna paint it three times. No. We're gonna paint it four times. No. We're gonna tear the whole building down and start from scratch. That might be the building next door. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> what's gonna happen is we're gonna find out what we like. So we have to go back and buy gallons of each color in flat because we're putting on in set. And the last time we picked satin, it ruined our entire lives in the, the renovation house. So what's going to happen is we're like, okay, we like the colors, we don't know what we want, go back and buy three gallons of flat and then try it again and we'll find a winner. That's what's going to happen. That's why I love you. I'm Give aware. Me, baby. It's a lot cheaper buying three gallons and paint the entire building twice. Facts. I trained you out. <laughs> Here we go. Round three. Beautiful. I'm not sure with the color. I'm not going to lie. So we tried the colors in two different locations, one in the sun, one in the shade, all three colors. And it, we're 100% we're positive we're not doing blue. 100% positive. We're doing green, so. Yes. And that was our gut feeling from the get-go, was yes. going with green. I think it's a better fit with the name. Yeah. It's just the better vibe, and it's a little bit more unique. We want something that's going to set us apart, because a lot of the buildings in the town and various towns around us go for the blue color. Yeah. So we want something different. Yep. So, I think what we need to do is buy two gallons of green paint that's both flat. Yeah, and try it again. And try it again. But, what? I think we're both kind of leaning towards the second green. The middle one. The lighter color. Yeah, the middle one. Which is actually... The original color that she picked. I steered her in the right direction. <laughs> I want you to say that again when I complain about it and want it repainted. <laughs> <laughs> that's your, it's all her fault, 100%. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we're gonna take advantage of this rainy day outside and tackle the last few things inside of the chapter house, one of which is finishing and putting together the final room in the house. I'm excited. And then we need to tackle this sea of boxes behind us because I'm we really like excited can't about even get all, walk the, get all the trash out of here. But first, Josh has an IKEA bed to put together. <laughs> <laughs> He's going into cardiac arrest <laughs> as we speak. It's not really IKEA. It it's might as well be. <laughs> it might be all IKEA to me. It's going to take us forever, forever. I think it said that it's somewhere around like five thousand pieces. Stop. Now, do you have beds to put them in or no? Do we have beds? Yes. The, all the Helix beds that we have, Josh? I know, I know. We have like, we have four different Helix beds. Here? Oh my goodness, where have you been? I know we've got the two upstairs and downstairs. We have the Helix beds for upstairs too, that side? Yeah, yeah, yes Wait. we do. <laughs> it's all blurring together, isn't it, Josh? I think so, I think you're wrong. <laughs> okay. Let's go find out. Okay, carefully get to the wall. <laughs> right there's one. Right there's the other. Two helix beds. How? One of us actually unpacked the house. I don't remember. I really don't. That's because you blacked out when we started decorating and unpacking, Josh. Is that what it was? Yes, it's definitely what it was. Where's that godforsaken bed frame that I gotta put together? Oh, let me show you. I think it's this right here. Yep, day bed. That's the entire thing or it's part of it? Oh, it comes in 5,000 very small pieces. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Luckily for you, this is the last room, Josh. It is. Yes. Congratulations, you have reached the end. He did a fantastic job. So have you. <laughs> the final room that we need to put together is a little loft that's upstairs. So once you're on the top level, you actually have another small set of stairs to go up to to get into a loft that is like teeny tiny, like so small that you almost have to duck <laughs> to clear your head getting up to the stairs. It's more of like a hangout kitty nook type area so we're going to be putting together a day bed that has like a trundle bed underneath it that we can put up there so it'll be two twin size beds just if whoever is staying here happens to have a couple of extra guests that might be able to stay up there and i think it's going to be a really cute spot once it's put together yes it's neat it's a little it's cozy neat. it is cozy keyword small <laughs> we've said that a lot with this house haven't we <laughs> we made the best that we could with the use of space and the constraints that we had in here yeah. put these over there put them together don't bang any walls okay I i'm not gonna lie this is my most dreaded bed frame i, was, I, I bought this box up and instantly i was the last one we we're going to do the day has come <laughs> we'll see what happens here you go girl oh yeah That's a lot of pieces. So two, three, so it's P2, P3, P4? P2, P3, P4, yes. P1A, P5A, and how many pages are there in this? Oh, it says stop, we better quit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. You wanna renovate another house? This is the worst part, you know? <laughs> As the structure's crushing and crumbling over a little bit, all we gotta do is jack it up and change a few things out. Building this sucks. Wait till you guys see the other building we bought. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plan for that one now. I gotta jack, we gotta take a chainsaw, cut into the side of it, and jack the entire thing up, and then jack the entire backside up with a chainsaw and some jacks. Of an entire house. It's of an not, entire it's house. Not, it's thousand square feet, it's not that big. You can jack it up, it's not a big deal. It's gonna be easier than this. But now putting together IKEA furniture. That's a huge deal. <laughs> okay. They do the same thing on the other side. Let's go back. That wasn't that bad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't told you the bad news yet, though. What's bad news? Well, now that you're all cozy and comfy, I just wanted to remind you that we haven't yet shopped for the bedding for this room. Yes? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, I could go back to Target and get Target again. <laughs> Pillow shopping!
We're making progress. The Vlad Trash Cat here, now let's load it up. We have two trailers that we are able to completely fill up. However, one of them is partially packed with that concrete that needs to be poured in the pad for the hot tub. So hopefully we have enough room because I think once we get everything cleared out of here, we're actually going to be able to see what we're working with, what we're missing, what the last few things are that we need to clean up. Plus, we can turn our attention to the last little bit of touch-ups and caulking that needs to be done around the house. There's a couple areas in the kitchen around the cabinets and the tile that needs a little bit of caulk. There's a few things of blue tape in locations. Still got to punch out. There's a few items we have left, not much. We got a few things to button up. I propose we make two different lists. Okay. One with tasks that need to be completed and a second one with the last final buys which are really just little things like, like spices. We don't have spices here. It would yep. be nice to have that. Yep. The biggest buy we're gonna find here, is I had my eyes on it about six months ago and I should have purchased it then. What just some light inside of there. And you know which one you want? I did. <laughs> There's an Etsy buy. I mean, cool and unique. I'm not sure where it's at now. <laughs> the question is, is it in the budget? I've got the old work box. So we can't hang it. So this goes in the back of the box. All we have is, wire hanging out. I gotta cut a hole, put a little old work box in there. I can, I can get most of it up, meaning I can put the track up there real quick. Does it, can we look at it and it looks pretty up there or it doesn't get hung on the wall? It does get hung on the wall. Perfect. We can do it. Are ready to hang it up? Yes. Oh, it's temporary, if you don't mind. See that lip? Yeah. Go up high. Oh, I gotta get up on there. Okay. The button right here turned on too, so that's on. You want light, bam, turns it on, brightens it up. You can defog All of this lights up all the way around. Yeah. So unfortunate, I don't have a box. Is it worth okay. driving the store quick in the box, come back and put it in, and call it done? <laughs> I see you nodding your head, yes. Is it worth it? It's a beautiful bathroom by the way, it's with the certain. skylights and everything. It's different than our bathroom. They're we both, still went with the same wood. Which same I wood, love. same slope. Same slope. Same skylights. Yeah, you're right, that's so weird. It's just different texture. Just, it's, it's light and ours is a little more moody and dark. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we have a type. <laughs> yeah, she's blonde. <laughs> Go ahead and share your love for Josh in the comment section. It's all jokes. We have fun here, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Firewood. Game table. Coffee pot, coffee pod holder, and creamer holder. Art for above the bookshelf. Blinds for both windows. Yes. So we got a light right here, a light for both bathrooms, and we got a butter bar right here. Bedding. <laughs> with lots of throw pillows. Why? <laughs> Are all women like this with throw pillows? Is that a woman thing? I don't get it. When you met me, I had a single quilt that thick on my bed, and that's it. And then I opened you up to the world of comfort, Josh. Yeah, my life changed from there on out. <laughs> Butcher block for the top of the laundry, kitchen table with chairs, bar stool chairs for the desk, throw pillows for on top of the air handler because why not? What pillows? A panel by the fridge. We're getting there. It's not much left. A couple light bulbs. A couple light bulbs. Yeah, we're like we're done. We have a few things left to do. We're done. Yeah, we're about done. We opened up another box of trash though, so we gotta get that out of here too. Whatever. <laughs> you ready to come home?
so we are headed to the cafe and today is going to be the very first day that we get to see what the cafe looks like all painted with a major splash of color and the windows are installed. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. The color outside is absolutely perfect. I can't imagine it having turned out any better. <laughs> For once, we got it right on the first try. That's amazing. I'm just absolutely thrilled with it. And on top of that, all of the windows are in inside with There's the so black much brighter hatch. It's and airy. That's the look we're going for. Like we're just at the tip of the iceberg yes. with the renovations because there's we have brick that's going inside. Yep. Brick all around here. All this stuff's gonna come down. You're gonna expose ductwork. We're gonna paint the ceiling. The hatch windows, obviously. We have the old tin style ceiling here. So it's all pulled together when it's all said and done. Plus the exterior, like Josh mentioned, the windows still need to be framed out out there, but I have huge grand plans for the sign, the way that the sign is going to fit yes. outside. It's going to be so beautiful. Uh, we still have to get the entire outdoor seating area done. So like we're just, now it's starting to all make sense and really look good together, but we're still at the tip of the iceberg and I'm yes. so excited. I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> She's happy, I'm happy, but it is amazing now. It looks good. It worked out great. Yeah. Love it. Good. Okay, you too. The end of one project inevitably brings with it the overlapping beginning of another. With only the hot tub project and final details left at the renovation house, we are looking forward to all of the potential that is about to shine through at this old building in Romney. The drywall, paint, window, and trim guys are almost done here, and that means the next steps are in our hands. Final electrical install, brick, building a bar and tables for customers, outfitting the kitchen, taste testing with Deanna, our last inspection, and then finally opening up Wild Roots Cafe to the community.